Measuring the time it takes an athlete to run a marathon, that's something we are all familiar with. But did you know that we can also measure the speed of a neutron? I am Peter Siegler. I'm a nuclear scientist at the Joint Research Center of the European Commission. I will take you to Jolina, our linear accelerator. Let's have a closer look at Jolina and see how it works. Inside this building, there is one of the most unique facilities for the production of neutrons and their measurement in the world. It uses powerful radio waves to accelerate electrons up to very high energies. Once the electrons are produced in pulses, they are injected into the accelerator tube. There, they meet the radio waves and are accelerated until nearly reaching the speed of light. This is similar to a surfer who is pushed forwards on a wave at the beach. Finally, those superfast electrons hit a solid uranium disk and produce a vast amount of neutrons flying away in all directions. While most neutrons are stopped by solid concrete walls, some can fly through holes towards the measurement stations. It is here where the JRC scientists perform their measurements. To do so, they place materials in the neutron beam and measure carefully what has happened to the neutrons and study the reactions they induce. By measuring the time between the start of the neutrons and the time they are measured at the experiment, scientists can calculate their speed with very high precision. The purpose of these measurements is to enlarge our knowledge about the interaction of neutrons with material, or atoms. With this knowledge, we will be able to improve nuclear safety and security, as well as to tackle the problem of nuclear waste. All of this will serve to increase safety and security for the European citizens. You.